Having problems with oil consumption in your engine or just wondering why some engines consume oil and some don't? Then you should be watching this video to find out. There are lots of causes why engines consume oil and I want to discuss all of them in this video as quick as possible for you to understand. Uh, first off, if you're using the wrong oil, if you're using the wrong oil, uh, oils need to have certain approvals, specific approvals from your manufacturer. If you're using the wrong approvals, in some cases diesel engines have some approvals, some gasoline engines have different approvals. If you go to a car workshop and you need to use, let's say, 5W30 engine oil from Castrol. Castrol has like 100 types of 5W30 oils and it really matters what kind of 5W30 you're using. I had a problem with this case, my Audi used to consume 1 liter every 1500 kilometers or let's say 1.5 liters every 2000 kilometers. I initially thought that I had a problem, I would probably need to replace the oil seals to check if I, if I have any oil leaks and the list goes on. I, I really had a problem with that. This problem was because the, the previous owner was using the specific oil required for diesel engines. I needed for my engine Volkswagen 502 or Volkswagen 505 for gasoline engines. And the previous owner was using, and I used the same, in, the same engine oil five years ago, Volkswagen 504 and Volkswagen 507. And those are the specific approvals for diesel engines with DPF filters. And I had a huge oil consumption even if my car wasn't emitting any smoke. I switched to 10W60 for 3 years. It's a thick oil, it's, it's just fine during summer, it's not that great during winter, but my oil consumption decreased to around 1 liter for every 10,000 kilometers. So I made an experiment, I switched from 10W60 with the right oil approvals for my engine to 0W40 with the right engine oil approvals. All three oils were from Castro, 5W30 for diesel, 10W60 for gasoline and 0W40 for gasoline. And again, my oil consumption is just normal, 1 liter for every 10,000 kilometers. So it's really important in the first place to use the right oil. Another reason why your engine may consume oil is if you drive aggressively. If you have a diesel engine and you constantly drive above 3000 rpm aggressively for a longer period of time, the engine oil heats up, it gets thinner and it gets burnt easily. And this is especially available for gasoline engines which hit 8000 rpm, 7000 rpm constantly. Again, the engine oil heats up to 120 degrees Celsius, it becomes super thin and the engine starts to consume oil. And it's natural, it's a natural process. If you only drive around town, low RPM, the engine oil doesn't heat up that much, it only gets to around 100 degrees Celsius, it won't consume that much. If you drive aggressively, engine oil consumption will increase. So don't wonder if you went on a racetrack or if you have driven aggressively for the past 5000 kilometers and you poured in 2 liters of oil. It's just normal. The third reason why some engines consume oil is because you simply have too much wear on your engine. When you have a lot of wear in your engine, the engine oil seals will uh, damage and oil will pass through those oil seals and it will penetrate to the combustion chamber and the engine will just burn your oil. This usually happens when you have lots of miles or kilometers, like over 300,000 kilometers on board on your diesel engine, gasoline engine, you have a lot of wear in your engine and the engine starts consuming oil. When you have such a problem with your oil consumption, you have a lot of wear to your engine, you will see blue smoke or white smoke at the exhaust pipes. When you see blue smoke, there's clearly a huge problem with your oil consumption and you need to fix it. You need to replace the oil seals. You have to do some maintenance over there. You have to see why you have blue smoke. And blue smoke is generally caused by engine wear. And in some cases, you can fix it. You don't have too much to do. Or you have to rebuild the engine, in which in some cases is really expensive, especially if you have a diesel engine. In some cases, if you check the oil level and you see that you have like one liter missing, 
you may not have oil consumption, you may have oil leaks and you need to check the entire engine, gaskets, the turbo, you should ha you could have oil leaks over there. You may have a minor crack in the oil sump and you, you can't figure out where or when you lose oil. In most cases, diesel engines consume less oil than modern gasoline ones. And the reason is simple. Gasoline engines um, have a much drier combustion compared to diesel fuel, to diesel combustion. And manufacturers uh, intentionally allow a small tolerance for oil consumption for gasoline engines. But a small one. I mean, there are engines out there like the ones used in the Audi A4, A3, TT, the 1.8 and the 2 liter TFSI engines, turbocharged gas engines, which have major oil consumption problems. Now, manufacturers like Audi claim that if you have an oil consumption up to 1 liter per 1000 kilometers, your engine is running normal but I don't agree with that. It's normal if you have an oil consumption, let's say up to one liter per 5,000 kilometers. That's normal. So as a short summary, engines tend to consume oil because number one, you are using the wrong oil. Uh, you have driven too many miles, too many kilometers with the same oil and you need to replace it. Uh, you are driving your car aggressively and it's normal to consume oil. You may have oil leaks, or your engine has excessive wear. And in some cases it can be fixed, in some cases it can't be fixed. You just have to change the engine. So if you have any questions on this topic, don't hesitate to write them down below. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already for more car videos, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.